It's an American war that ended nearly 40 years ago. But in Vietnam, they claim the casualties keep coming. Birth defects plague the country. They call them the children of Agent Orange. America sprayed the defoliant chemical over vast areas to create hunger, destroy crops, and the jungle their communist enemy used for cover. An old war that's now drawing new recruits in SW-10. We have a big project in Da Nang in central Vietnam, uh, which has got the highest incidence of congenital deformity in the world, and that's thought to be as a result of Agent Orange used during the Vietnam War. It's Niall Kirkpatrick's last NHS operation at Chelsea and Westminster before joining nine other London plastic surgeons on an unpaid mission to Vietnam. They land at Da Nang Airport where America once loaded Agent Orange onto aircraft. Scientists found soil contamination here 350 times above safety levels. He can't speak properly, he can't eat properly, and he can't see. In the early 70s, America's own agriculture department reported that dioxin used in Agent Orange produced a significant potential to increase birth defects. But by then, they'd been spraying it across Vietnam for years. It's day one for the surgeons. Word is out. Stories abound about what the doctors from London achieved last year. The Facing the World team have two weeks to help normalize these little faces, some too disfigured to show. Can you do high five? You see them turn up on the back of a motorbike coming from miles and miles and miles, and they'll have heard of a hope, just that tiny flicker that maybe this was somebody that can help our child. So they will take every penny or dong that they've got to get there. And they'll sit and wait. We've met little children on the doorstep of the AME department. They got there, they heard we were there and waited. It's heartbreaking but also then the system kind of starts to work. The Vietnamese Red Cross claims 150,000 childbirth defects are linked to dioxin in Agent Orange. America says that's exaggerated and lacks proper science. They refuse compensation and yet paid out millions to American veterans affected while handling Agent Orange. If we had the same amount of congenital deformity in the UK, then it would simply bankrupt our UK NHS. Vietnam is going to struggle with this problem for, for a number of years because uh, the dioxin is genotoxic and therefore once it enters the population's gene pool, then it's passed on through the generations and it takes a long time before that stops. Amid the bustle, Trang was treated last year and returns for a checkup. So tell me, have you had any problems at all with, with the nose or the eye or the face or eating? It's been an amazing transformation.